Okay, this is a rudimentary beginner's tutorial on creating a puppet character or sprite for, let's say, a game or an animation in Flash. All right, and um, creating a puppet character is uh, a lot of fun in Flash and has a lot of different uses. I'm going to show you here. Um, here is a character that I created for a little part uh, political cartooning action. So um, you can see here it's a movie clip. Right? And then when I select the movie clip, notice all the pieces inside. I'm going to double click on this movie clip and you'll see that this little um, uh, bush doll is broken up into many layers. I've got um, frame labels for the different actions that it would take up here. So these frame labels. And then I've got a lot of keyframes and a lot of layers for all of the different body parts, which are each a movie clip. And I went into a lot of detail here so I could do some fancy um, puppet animating with this character right for uh, for fun so let me make the movie here and I'll show you how it works so there he is he's walking click this button he walks if I click this button he relaxes taps his foot you know checks his watch that kinda of thing alright and then for uh, more political fun I did another one for um, Obama you can see here once again a lot of layers here for all the different body parts and each layer each body part is here you can see if I select the keyframe you'll see the movie clip that is associated with that layer and that keyframe and then you can see here he walks right does some push-ups on the White House lawn you know and then I even had him play a little basketball alright so it's all set here frame by frame so this puppet has um, photographic assets that I have edited in Photoshop and they've got a lot of transparency right and so I've done some um, editing there but for this puppet that I'm going to create right here I'm just using these ve vector graphics tools built into flash so I drew two circles here with the oval tool and I've, they've got a fill color no stroke or outline and then what I can do is I can grab this um, selection tool and I can kind of tweak the edges as you can see so as I approach the edge I can just kind of push this and pull it and it'll change the um, character so what I'll do is I'll get the paintbrush tool here and let's see here I kinda wanna pick a um, size and then I can just you know draw little arms here something like that maybe draw you know and so now I've got this character now these character this character is just vector shapes as you can see uh, if I select them you see the dots on there um, when I draw these in flash with the paintbrush tool I like to have um, the uh, f the object drawing mode not activated so that I can actually just see the shape okay and now once I have these shapes I'm gonna convert each shape individually into a movie clip so I'll select this head shape and say modify convert to symbol movie clip set the registration point you know do I want it in the upper left hand corner or in the center right since it's this head maybe I'll put the registration point where eventually I'm gonna pivot it which would be down here at the bottom in the middle right and then I'll just type in head and I can put MC in the front of it to let uh, me know in the library that it's a movie clip as opposed to a button um, click OK and there's my first movie clip right for the body here modify convert to symbol MC body movie clip notice and then registration point I'll put it in the center so there's the registration point in the center and once you have all of these converted to movie clips right you now have a uh, your puppet character now notice they're all in the same layer I haven't put them on separate layers and that's okay too right so let's do this arm the arm I'll select it modify convert to symbol and I'll just call it MC dash arm now once you have all your pieces in place and you want to create an animation like I want to make this guy let's say wave or lift his arms up and down what I do is I do it by keyframe 
and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new keyframe so I'll click this next frame right click insert keyframe then I want to rotate this arm now if I rotate it currently using the free transform tool grabbing the corner um, and seeing the curl on the cursor I can rotate but as you can see it rotates around the center which is not very good for animation an arm which pivots at the um, armpit or at the, this joint right here right so what I can do is I can select this movie clip once click on it and then it with the free transform tool selected grab that middle circle and drag it to the corner and now when I select it and rotate it it will rotate uh, according to where that little circle is so it's pivoting at the shoulder and so then I'll put another keyframe uh, insert keyframe and select the arm and change it a little bit more and then I'll select this next one I can just hit F6 for a new keyframe F6 deselect by clicking on the background select the arm and move it a little bit right and so now I have a four frame animation with the arm going up and down now last but not least right now this puppet character is existing all on one layer right I could separate it to multiple layers if I want which is useful especially as your graphics get better and you have nice graphics or nice drawings or whatever um, also I might want to stick this whole thing into a movie clip so it's easy to move the puppet in and out of scenes so what I can do for that is is I'll hold down the shift key select all of my frames and if I had multiple layers I could do that too for instance if I put the um, let's say this I'll put the the body on a separate layer okay so I'll cut that and I will um, make a new layer for the body drag it down and I'll paste it edit paste in place and then the body is not actually moving just the arm so notice how the arm moves but the body doesn't that's fine I can name this body right so now I want to put all of these assets into one movie clip so I hold down the shift key select the first keyframe then select the corner keyframe still holding down the shift key right I'll right click copy the frames notice not copy but copy frames right that means these guys right here so now insert new symbol and I'll say it I'll call this character alien character right movie clip right click OK and now I have an empty movie clip with nothing in it yet right so now all I'll do is just select that first keyframe then right click on it paste frames and all of my frames paste in including my layer and what I'm going to do is I want to select all of these assets and not only that I want to select these other keyframes as well so I'm going to go into symbol editing mode here timeline editing mode onion skin onion skin outlines edit multiple frames I'm going to select that and then I'm going to highlight everything and I might need to drag this to select that last frame here and I'll do it again right notice I've now selected all of the assets all of the layers and these multiple keyframes of the arm motion right and now what I can do is is I can get this selection tool and I can actually move all of that according to where that registration point is so I'll put the registration point right in the center or I could put it right here I'm gonna put it right here in the center of the character and so now my character is let's say centered according to the registration point I'll turn off the edit multiple frames mode go back to scene one and now on scene one what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete everything here so watch this I'll delete that and then the body I can delete that and I can even delete these frames and now I have one empty frame it looks like I have nothing right wrong I open the library there's my alien character I drag it out and there's my movie clip and inside of my movie clip is the animation right if I want to play it so control enter and you can see it's animating right so that that's nice because now I can move this character so he could slide let's say and then the arm is also working so you can have multiple animations going on at the same time